Welcome back, guys. Thanks for taking the time to spend a little time with me. I always appreciate that. And before we get started, if you like the video, make sure you like the video. And if you like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you are subscribed, make sure you turn on your notifications. Now, let me apologize to you guys before we even get started. Of course, you're seeing the same, you know, I can't talk. You're seeing the same clip that you saw in the last video. And the reason why is simply put, this is the latest piece of content that we have from EA. So of course, I'm gonna use the most recent footage as a backdrop, but it's not so much of what you're seeing. If you, know, if you wanna take a peek at it, corpse, go ahead and do that. But it's more so what I'm bringing to you in the video as far as the uh, subject matter, what have you. So this is just the backdrop. But what we're gonna talk about today, man, is we'll talk a little bit about the catching component and I did say that I probably would do a few of these videos and kind of address some of these individual pieces of information that they provided in the last Gridiron Notes, you know, to kind of take a closer look at certain things. And I always want to let you guys know, of course, you know, my approach to this is a lot different, a different standpoint. I always look at what's being offered. And then once the game releases, we take a look at what was offered and how it works in game. You know, there's always a million things that a lot of us still would want to see in a Madden game and a Madden product. You know, it's particularly, you know, some of us guys that consider us, uh, you know, a certain crowd, like we're more simulated, more authentic. You know, that's more of our drive. It's a whole lot of things we still would want to see in Madden or any football game for that matter. I always have to make that preference, any game. But once the game is announced, and once the feature set is announced, what you get is what you get. So that's what I give my feedback on. I just don't waste my time, you know, making videos talking about what's still not there. You know, I'll get to that. But at this stage, I'm not going to do that. We'll talk about what's offered when we have an opportunity to see what the game has to offer once it launches. We'll talk about that. And then we'll talk about what's missing and what need to come in the future. But in this particular video, guys, what I'm going to talk about is just the catching component. This is very important to me. And the reason why is because this is something that I felt like I identified playing the beta and then they confirmed it. You always hear me talk about two man animation. You always hear me talk about two man sequences. And what am I referring to? Well, if you guys play Madden 21 or any game before that, you notice that there's these situations when, you know, at the catch point, the defender and the receiver go into this animation that can't be interrupted. Do you know? Try throwing a drag route or a slant. You get those animations where they are drawn together, and it's a PBU or it's an interception. And those are the times when we say the game is scripted, right? So what I've been saying for years upon years upon years, they need to start going away from the two-man animation. And I noticed it in the catching game. It appeared that two-man animations weren't really popping up as much, or they didn't have as much effect. Or, what have you also heard me say in the past? Reduce the time in which they can trigger. It seemed like all of that was happening, and then they confirmed it with this blog. So I'm going to talk about just the catching. I'm going to read this, you know, the section here on catching, and then I'll just give you my quick thoughts on it. Basically what they said here is they say for catching controls, Madden NFL players desired more control and more organic outcomes in the passing game. To fulfill that desire, we've made a lot of changes to significantly decrease the frequency of multiplayer catches. There will be no more rack, which is run after catch, multiplayer catches. So let me pause right there. What they're saying is, there should not be a two-man animation in that situation. So anytime there's a rack catch, again, think about drags, slants, and things of that nature when you have a little step on your guy. There will be no more multiplayer catches in that situation. It says no more contextually questionable short yard, short yardage, excuse me, multiplayer catches and less slowdowns by receivers with a step or two of separation. And let me just read that sentence again in full because I kind of paused there. It says, to fulfill that desire, we've made a lot of changes to significantly decrease the frequency of multiplayer catches. There would be no more rack multiplayer catches, no more contextually questionable short yardage multiplayer catches, and less slowdowns by receivers with a step or two of separation. That is important. 
Why is it important? Well, of course, it's because nobody wants that two-man animation interference. But also, another reason why it's important is this is where us, the community, can judge, right? Think back to what you may have experienced during the beta, and then once the game releases, if you have an opportunity to play it, you know, whether that is you getting the game or EA Access or, you know, playing a friend's game or what have you, now you have something that you can hone in on and say, okay, let's see if this is really legitimate. And this is what I'm saying, guys, when I always say the responsibility of us as a community is to always apply pressure as far as where the game should go. But then also where you point your attention towards developers is whatever they're bringing to the game, how did they deliver that? So this is one of those things that you can say, oh, okay, well, you guys said that there would be less slowdowns and receive, you know, with receivers with a step or two of separation. So now you have something that you can hone in on and say, all right, I don't see that. Or, oh, okay, I do see that. Moving on. What you will see are more single player catching scenarios where both players are independently playing the ball or seamlessly playing the receiver with catch tackles, catch knockouts, and mid-air collisions. That's huge. Again, I'm going to read that one more time. It says, what you will see a more single player, single player, excuse me, catching scenarios where both players are independently playing the ball. That is huge. Independently playing the ball or seamlessly playing the receiver with catch tackles, catch knockouts, and mid-air collisions. Why is that so important? Again, if you've ever listened to myself or my good brother Smitty, what do we always talk about? independent animation at the catch point. And that's just one area of the game. I mean, it, it needs to be that way everywhere. It should be that way everywhere. <laughs> I mean, in the trenches, tackling, all of that. But clearly, again, if you understand how development works, it appears that they are approaching it in one area in the game, and it should, emphasis on should, it should spread out to the remainder of the game as the game progresses. But clearly, they're making a focus on it with catching. Those are not my words. This is what they're saying, right? So let's continue. It says, specific to mid-airs, we added some functionality so that the intended outcome of the interaction will be respected on any tackle that takes place during the catch so you don't have to rely on a specific animation to play to get the correct play outcome. I got to read that again specifically to mid-airs, and they're talking about mid-air collisions. We added some functionality so that the intended outcome of the interaction will be respected on any tackle that takes place during the catch so you don't have to rely on specific animation to play to get the correct play outcome. Again, this is what I talk about all the time. I always said, listen, if you can't go full-blown physics, then you need to allow interruptible animations, branching animations. This is something that was advertised in Madden in years ago, branch technology. Because it, it all comes down to replication. So however you have to do it, as long as you can do it in a respectable, realistic, or believable fashion, I'm cool with however you do it. Of course, we all talk about physics, 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 yes. You know, we all, well, not all, but a lot of us kind of came from the era when we saw Backbreaker introduced and okay, you can argue how good or bad the game was, but one thing it did deliver was those physics and we all had an eye-opening experience like, whoa, right? So since then, we wanted physics to be more dominant. But, you know, if you listen to what Clint and Connor had to say when they spoke with Brian and Zeke, if they prefer to do more of a marriage between animation and physics, however you get it done, just get it done. Like, I'm cool with that as long as it plays out properly. You guys have heard me say numerous times, listen, you should have a system where there's animations and then physics augments the animation to produce the outcome. How many times have you guys heard me say that? Well, that's kind of what they're saying here <laughs> in that last sentence that I read. And once again, this is something that I will hone in on once the game launches. 
You're giving me material to judge the game by. You, you see how this works? This is how I how I do it. Like I said, this has always been my style, my tactic. This is how I break down the game. I give feedback on what I want to see in the future once I already know what's in the current product. But once I have the current product, I give feedback on what they said we would see. <laughs> so that's why I always say everything is always TBD. That's why I always say that. All right, but anyway, let's get down to the other parts here, man. And then we'll be done. It says, we've also improved sideline catching by adding logic for more accurate foot detection and adding, um, excuse me, added brand new sideline catch animations for a variety. In both core Madden NFL and the yard, it says, uh, oh, okay, I read that wrong. It, it was a comma there. It says they've added that variety in both core Madden NFL and the yard. So then the next sentence says, so now when catching near the boundaries, those toe drag catches will be more accurate and efficient. Lastly, we've done some tuning to improve the catch height threshold so that big receivers will have a larger catch radius and defenders attempting to swat the ball will have a larger range to reach the ball to knock it away. I'm going to read that sentence again. Lastly, we've done some tuning to improve the catch height threshold so that big receivers will have a larger catch radius larger catch radius and defenders attempting to swat the ball will have a larger range to reach the ball to knock it away why is that important again this all plays into independent animation reduction or elimination of two-man sequence so to me, the catching as far as implementation, what they've done from a development standpoint sticks out really, you know, it's really high on my radar because that's speaking to two-man animation. Now, the next thing, of course, would be tackling. And we'll, we'll talk about tackling, too, in another video. But the catching, yeah. This one is one of the more important to me because, again, this one is talking about the elimination or at least a significant reduction of two-man animation and this is the one that specifically talks about independently allowing players to play the ball seamlessly this is huge again like i said this is how i view things not everybody will see it the same way but this is how i break down what's coming to a game and then i judge the game based off of that so it's always twofold with me. I'm always looking for the future because there's a plethora of things I still want to see Madden or any other football game bring to the table. But I also have to judge the game based off of the game that they're delivering in the current year. So again, this full paragraph here is full, full of stuff that you can pull from to say, hey, 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 I thought this was supposed to happen. Oh, I thought you said this was in the game. Oh, I thought you said that this, you see what I'm saying? And those are the questions I would have for the dev team, which, you know, you guys know I always give those guys credit. They're great guys, whether you guys believe it or not. You know, they want the game to be as great as we want it to be. But these are the things that I have to give my feedback on if they don't deliver. Like, hey, this this ain't playing out the way you know the way y'all wrote it up. So yeah, again, to wrap up this video, and I didn't expect it to be this long, man. But this catching is something that is really catching my eye. <laughs> no pun intended, right? Because this is the meat right here that's letting me know that the reduction or elimination of two man sequencing is possible in a Madden game. And from my experience in the beta, I saw this. To what degree? I don't know. I'm going to wait until it's fully tuned and all of that and see what it, you know, what it does in the final product. But I definitely noticed that. You guys remember, I was saying this while playing the beta. Go back and listen to some of them Sim Standard podcasts. I was saying like, hey, 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 man, it seems like 
they did something in catching. I can't quite put my finger on it, but it doesn't seem like there's a lot of two-man override. Remember I kept saying, I don't see those warps that you see in 21 or 20. But of course, as we end this video, everything is still TBD to be determined. We shall see. But all right, guys, that's all I got for this particular video. Like I said, man, keep your eye out on others. You know, I'll probably go into uh, maybe tackling or, or something else. I'm not sure which other one, what other area I want to talk about. Maybe blocking, but we'll see. You know, I plan to do a couple of these, just giving my, my deeper opinion on what is actually being said as far as what they're doing with gameplay specifically. All right. So again, if you haven't already, guys, listen, if you like the video, like the video. And if you enjoy the content, subscribe. And of course, if you are subscribed, make sure you turn on your notifications. But until next time, appreciate you guys coming through. Catch you in the next one. Peace.